Hey everyone, it's Xander, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Day, Journey of the Cursed King. Uh, I realize I don't know if I can actually set sail at night or not. We're gonna try- oh, it's day. What the hell did I make a day? My memory is horrible. Alright. Regardless, it's now daytime. So, no more stalling. I don't know how well this is gonna go for me. We're gonna find out very quickly. Alright, Jessica should still be up here. Um, do I have enough money for that lance, actually? How much money have I got? Ooh, I can probably buy the lance. That's going to be super helpful. Iron lance gives me an additional five points. And spirit of the kind commonly found throughout the world. Put that on Zanger. Zane, what the hell is wrong with me today? Xander! And equip it. Ugh. I, I can't think. Alright, so now I have a massive spear on my back. I'm sure there's plenty of any windows we can make with this. But we're not going to. Instead, we're going to fight a sea monster. It's getting dark really quickly. At least it looked like it was. It looked like it was going towards sunset already. Yeah, I decided, um, trying to level up again, not worth my time. So I go through here to get into the next part of the building, and through here's where they are. Maybe they're on the bottom floor. Okay, Xander's lost in a building with like two floors and no extra rooms. This is horrible. Why am I so bad at this? There she is. Let's just scrap the first few minutes and start over. Oh well. It won't be me without failure. Are you ready to set sail? I'm going to get my ass kicked for sure. Okay then. Quartermaster, prepare the ship. Aye aye, sir. Ma'am. Just saying. Just talking to a lady. Although, granted, she probably has more balls than half the people here. So, um, there will be things to check out on the ship, so that's nice. Prepare to set sail! Weigh anchor! Oh, there's that music again. So good. You gotta love that music. I think it may be scripted, so you set sail at sunset. I'm not positive, though. Such good music. It's just so triumphant. Triumphant gets you pumped for an adventure. And we got these three all just totally serious face. They got their game face on. They're ready to kill something. And I think that would be the something right there. Music just totally cuts off. Oh great, it's got tentacles. Oh, I hate this tentacle. No, I hate the tentacles. These nasty humans and their ships. Oh, 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 always sailing over poor Calamari's head. What? Yeah, Teddy, yeah. You humans don't have no manners. Really? <laughs> That's right, Tickles. They don't have none at all, they don't. No! Oh, God, and I thought the last guy was insane. That 
that's why Calamari's gonna stand up for all the poor creatures of the sea. Starting by eating these here humans. Shampoo is better. I go on first and clean the hair. Conditioner is better. I leave the hair silky and smooth. Oh, really, fool? Really? <laughs> Stop looking at me, swan! <laughs> yeah, tickles! Yeah. He'll eat him! Eat him right up! Jeez. This guy's drunk. <laughs> Tell him are you're drunk. Go home. 26 damage. Not bad. 26 and 28. This might... Hurt. Okay, so, um, we're now regulated to duty of healing my stupid ass. Jeez. Anegas is mostly going to do all the attacking for us, so... I wish I had a multi-heal spell, but I don't. I'm going to chance it with Yankees to have him keep attacking. Okay, at least I'm still doing okay on my health. Nothing he in his arsenal is going to kill me. Yangus is kind of screwed at the moment. Unfortunately, he's slow and always goes after me. Also, 40 on healing Yangus. Nice. I really wish I had a multi-heal spell right now, but I don't. So we may do with what I got. Yangus should be good for now. Most down enemy. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, this is pretty much my strategy. Also, um, abilities. Helm Splitter. That lowers an opponent's defense. I should probably... As it inflicts... We're gonna do that. Yeah. Also, I don't think that actually cost me any um, magic points. So that's really good. That's super useful. Defense is decreased by 8. That's going to help out a lot. Every little bit helps. Heal myself. And now let's see what I can do for damage. Oh great, the fire attack. It's cool, we're still alive. Yangus is getting healed next turn, but we're still alive. 30. That helped a little bit. Spells, heal on Yangus. Yangus... Sorry. Try Helm Splitter again. <coughs> Excuse me. 32. Defense decreased by 8. That is super useful. Why did I try? Wow. Oh, no, no! Oh, that is so cheap. Ah. Uh. That was not supposed to happen. 3... Alright, so I've pretty much decreased his damage. There. I've decreased his attacking power as much as I can. Spells, heal, Yangus. And just have Yangus attack. 33. As long as he doesn't do the fire attack too often, I'm probably okay. Why do I keep going there? Stop it! I can deal with that. Oh, that's not good. Items! Medical or herb. Use Yangus. Yangus attack. And we got him. Yes. Now I'm not too worried about having to grind. Calamari is defeated. 
Calamari is also a type of food you can eat that is, as you might guess, made from, I believe it's squid. Squid or octopus? It's made from whatever this thing we just killed is, so I'm pretty sure it's squid. 311 experience points, not too bad. So there's your strategy for this thing. They were stronger than we thought! We give up! We give up! Apparently he's still insane. Not sure it wasn't our fault though! It was his! That's right, you modest! That jester, he came walking on top of the water to us! Just walked over us! He did! Ooh, pretty cheeky of a human to pull that little trick off, me thought. So we talked to him, we did. <laughs> but when he talked, our head got all cloudy like, and we started attacking ships. We did, we did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't us, it was that jester, it was. Is this by way of an apology like? Oh. We found it in the ocean, we did! Go on, take it, mate! It's the least we can do! A golden bracer, I'll take it. Well, that is all from us! We are leaving now! We are! Have a pleasant trip! So long! Uh... Crazy! Calamari was screwed up in the head before Domingus met him. Not bad, guys. You're a lot stronger than you look. You know, we've never properly introduced ourselves. I'm Jessica. Jessica Albert. And who might you be? Oh, now she asks for our names. I'm Yangus, and this is the Gov. Yangus and the Gov, is it? Right. No, no, don't Thanks listen to, to him. Help with the sea monster. Now, let's find Dormagus. Just call me Xander. I'm sure you need to get ready first, so let's head back to Port Prospect. I'll tell the captain to weigh anchor. Translation, go to an inn and sleep off getting our asses kicked. I would have liked another level just so oh, I could have been really maxed out in here. I called you two thieves back at the tower, and I never formally apologized, so... You were half right. Forgive me. That's a weird apology thing they do. Anyway, I'll talk to the captain. All hands on deck! Why anchor and prepare to come about? We're heading back to Port Prospect! Yeah, we really made it far out to sea, didn't we? We took care of the sea monster, so I got them to agree to wait for us. I figured you'd like to rest and buy provisions before we set sail again. Might be a good idea. I'll be waiting for you here. Don't take too long now. We've got work to do. Alright, so on that note, um, not ending the part. God, no, we're only a few minutes in. I can record quite a bit more. Uh, we're definitely going to need to sleep so I can recover my MP. Also, be right back. Alright, uh, right, rest. Sleeping is a good idea. Well, sleep it off, and then I... Well, let's take a look at that gold bracer first, because I don't know what that will and won't do for me. Uh, I probably just went straight to my bag, then. The wearer's defense. An accessory, yes. I forgot. Uh, you can equip accessories along with other stuff. Transfer to me. Why did I do that? <laughs> no, equip. Alright. Also, has she lowered the price on herbs? I'm just curious. 
now. Also, uh, let's actually check the well, because maybe that, uh, the slime dude, he wanted to go back to sea, but he was scared of his boss. Well, your boss is right in the head now. Really? I was kinda hoping he might give me something. I feel gypped. Yeah, that was quick, and yes, I am good to go. Also, we have another person interested in. Actually, before us. we go, I have a favor to ask. This doesn't involve killing our things, You're does it? You're after Magus, just like I am, right? We're fighting for the same reasons. Close enough, but yes. So I was thinking, why don't we do this together? I haven't been studying magic for long, but I still have a lot to offer. What do you say? I'd say your magic's more than sufficient. You almost blew my head back off at the tower. I've got a great feeling about this. Thanks, guys. I don't know what happens if you turn her down, but again, I'm kind of terrified to turn her down. So, yes, Jessica is our third oh, party member. Now that that's taken care of, let's go. And... She's really bitchy early on, as you saw, but Just once she's with your party, you it's not so bad. Without me and my beautiful princess. And of course, we can't forget about this. So. Why anchor? Prepare to set sail for Peregrine Key. I'm never going to say that name right. Ah, oh, there you are. So what are you two up to? Up to? Me and the gov was just talking, that's all. Gov, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about that. You know, he doesn't exactly look like your governor. If anything, it looks the other way around. What's the story? Uh, well, Genghis is obnoxiously British. Well, I'm glad you asked. So we get some backstory here. The gov fell in together is an epic town, full of laughter, frills, and tears. He's exaggerating. Don't listen to it him. It is, is it? Well, why don't you just give me the highlights? All right, I will. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. I just decided to make a clean break of it. I was well acted off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh life. I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treated me funny everywhere I went. Like I was a thief or something. You kind of just admitted you were a thief. Also, first flashback, that's in color. I didn't have no place to go. And not a penny to me name, neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. And that's when I run into the gov here. Is that the current weapon I have equipped on him? Hold it right there. No, I think that's a different one. Because they have me with uh, my old sword. Why don't they have him with the club? Maybe that is the axe I currently have on him. Who gave you permission to use my bridge then, eh? Move it, Pudgy. Permission? 
her mission. Your bridge lies within my kingdom, you oaf. What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. I see your mouth is as vulgar as your face. Yes, I'm the king. And who exactly do you think you are? Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their knickers. That's right. You're talking to none other than Yangus, the legendary bandit himself. Yangus? The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. The one and only Yangus. What a shame there aren't more of you. Now kindly remove your one and only self from my bridge and clear off. Clearly we're off to a great start here. Mm, don't push your luck, you green-faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way. Wait, I'm going to get into a fight because my king's a moron. For the record, I haven't said a damn thing yet. I, I mean, the character in the game has, and I, me, I'm the commentator's been a smart ass, but um, so yeah. <laughs> now, my boy, now's our chance to cross. Um, uh, sure, if you can make your wagon hop a massive hole. Apparently he can. Just my blade luck. Now that's what I call just desserts. As the saying goes. Crime doesn't pay. Let us carry on then, my boy. There, there, my precious Medea. Did the bad man scare you? I'm gonna get tired of him calling me, my boy. It, it just makes me think of the horrible Zelda CGI games. I think we're missing someone. Me. I see always what are you that. doing? But he attacked us. Why the devil are you helping him? This is a good question. Just leave him. It's poetic justice. Nay, divine justice. This is why I never got past being a lowly guard. I don't listen to my king. Eh, that's okay. I won't be a total ass kisser anyways. Thank you, Governor. I thought I was done for. What is the world coming to? Yangus, was it? You can show your gratitude by getting out of our sight. <laughs> You're having a laugh. What? Still here? If you won't do us the favor of leaving, I'll be happy to provide some encouragement. Oh, you're not going to do a damn thing. Also, I'm not saving your ass. Look at me. Do you know how hard it is to haul his ass up from a cliff? You're on your own on this one. Mister? No, no, governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, gov. You are so British, I think I'm going to be nauseous. Gov? I mean, nothing is wrong with British nonsense? accent. Uh, British accents, but damn! This Yangus is really is milking retainer. it. If you're in anyone's service, it's mine! Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. Put, put a sock in it! Who do you think you're speaking to, you... you... good 
for nothing scum. This is one of the reasons I like Yangus. Not afraid to tell the king to get off his high horse. So that's how you met. But what happened to all the laughter, thrills and tears? Well, I'm not finished yet. This is the best bit. I haven't told you about how the gov helped me go straight. Whatever. You can tell me all about it later. Right now, I need some fresh air. <laughs> I should have known a bird wouldn't get a story like ours, gov. Still, no skin off my nose. So, now we know how these two met. He quite literally owes me his life. And me, not the king. Alright, so let's actually do some exploring of the ship because we're on a boat. And we might as well see what we can find. There's a lot of barrels here to smash. Something here's got something. Besides just an herb. Seed of life, that's always helpful. I don't recall everything on here. Seed of agility, nice. Maybe I can get a full seed set while I'm on here. I'd love a seed of skill. Medical error begin. I uh, up. Oh, almost missed one. A pot lid. Why not? Also, you can talk to the horse. Doesn't really do much. But keep in mind, this is a cursed princess, so it's probably a good idea to pay her some attention. Uh, up here just takes me right back around, doesn't it? Yep. Let's see what we got through here. Ooh, this is important. Talk to the king. This is very, very important here. This is why I'm saving everything that I get. I did it! I did it! I finally did it! Ah, there you are. Perfect timing. I've got something to show you. Ta-da! Looks like a normal pot, doesn't it? But it's actually a legendary alchemy pot. This is what we've seen him tinkering around with. I can see that doesn't mean much to you. Allow me to explain. The alchemy pot is an invaluable tool for making different kinds of items. It lets you mix different ingredients to create hard to find items, armor, and weapons. After my kingdom was cursed, I thought it might come in handy, and managed to spirit it out of the castle. But that's not all. I spent night after night trying to get it working again. Uh, no, no, you can thank me later. We are going to thank him for this, because this pot is going to be how we get some of our best stuff. Right. Well, it's in my carriage. So why don't you give it a try? It's surprisingly easy to use. Is it going to give me a tutorial on this, or did I just get my tutorial? Me, land ho! Belay the rigging and prepare to make port. Aye, aye, sir. But I'm not done exploring the ship yet. Hopefully it doesn't boot me out the ship right away. 
I think I still had our stuff to check on here. like we've arrived. I'll meet you outside town with Medea and the carriage. It wouldn't do to stir up the natives again with my extraordinary appearance. I'm surprised they let you on the ship. Alright. Good. Still on here. I can't actually break those. Now I know. Alright, uh, I guess there's really only one way to go through here. Obviously, those pots aren't gonna have anything new once you smash them once. Now, was there anywhere else I could go besides here? Because I. Yeah! Giant treasure chest right in front of my face. Bronze. <coughs> excuse me, bronze knife. Oh, so occasionally some of these books we read will give us alchemy recipes. What do you think the skeleton key recipe is? It's like, eh, screw it. Uh, what about back here? Anything in this tiny little area? Nope. Alright. I think I've gotten everything I'm going to get out of this place. Also, Jessica should be... Yep, right here. So, these are her starting weapons. Leather Whip is amazing. This was my first mistake I made, because you can mix this with something else to get a really good whip, but you only get like one leather whip. I, you can get more than one, but they're a pain in the ass to get again. So yeah. Alright, I believe I can give her a shield. Let's use this. Combine an iron nail and a bronze knife. Well, that's good. And I just got the bronze knife. So, sorry Jessica, you can't have it. You can, however, have this. And yes, equip it. Is there anything else I want to give her? Uh... No, I think I'm good for now. I am gonna use these though. Not bad, I'm actually keeping up with Yanks' hit points. I might as well give a couple of these to Jessica, cause... Transfer it to Jessica, that's what I wanted to do. Alright, that should be good enough for now. So yeah, as soon as I get an iron nail, which I don't know what enemies drop those, but as soon as we get an iron nail, we get a thief's key. Which means all those chests are going to be mine. For now, let's just actually get into the ports. Also, we're up to like, what, 39 minutes? Wow. Okay, uh, probably a good place to cut right here, guys. Especially since we have the alchemy pot and I need to look up some recipes. Just notes of things to make once I get the chance. Like that thief's key, I need to find those iron nails. So if you've enjoyed this part, enjoyed uh, the crazy talking squid talking to his tentacles. Enjoyed watching us whoop his ass. Me almost screwing that fight up. 
and us game just because of party member please give me a thumbs up uh subscribe if you're not already share it with your friends and i will see you guys later